Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. Today I'm not talking about any books specifically, but I do really want to rearrange this top shelf right here on this this little bookshelf that is featured in a lot of my videos all of my videos not a lot all of my videos it's kind of my favorite shelf if you couldn't tell like those of you who have been around for a while would know that these books are like my top you know I like I love them very very much and I'm kind of basing that off of like last year's favorites list but we are well over halfway through this year 2022 and I thought maybe from the first I guess seven months of this year I could update the shelf and just do a little do a little house cleaning I guess so that some newer subscribers can know what my new favorites are plus I just want to do it so we're going to but I thought I would take you guys with me as I pick the books <laughs> okay so as I perused my shelves I kind of came up with these five contestants I guess that could go on the shelf, um, but that is How the Light Gets In by Jolena Petersheim, Long Way Home by Lynn Austin, The Italian Ballerina by Christy Cambrin, The Girl from the Train by Irma Hubert, and Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. So these are the five. I think I could potentially get them all on the shelf. I definitely, this is wedged in here, I definitely still want to keep this copy of Emma on the shelf because you may or may not know it is my favorite book of all time it is my number one it's the book I would save if my house was burning down I would run back in for it so it's definitely gonna stay on the shelf but we're gonna take these these guys off I've said it a couple times and I will say it again if you want like the best gothic suspense series with like you have you have the wealthy, you have the poor, you just have everything you could ever want in a mystery series set in like the days of the rich in England. Uh, the Price of Privilege trilogy is the trilogy for you. I love these books so, so, so much. And I'm not a series person whatsoever. And then also featured on that shelf was Lineage of Grace series by Francine Rivers. I I do love these novellas, but mostly the book is like so, so pretty. It's one of the prettiest books I own, and I really wanted it featured on there. And then we have The Paris Dressmaker by Christy Cameron. Adored this book. And then Under the Magnolias by T.I. Lowe. Um, if you are a frequent watcher, specifically last year, you guys know that Under the Magnolias, like, it saved me. It was my book of the year and I could talk about it for hours. It truly was, It. I think it honestly it did, it saved me <laughs> last summer. Okay, so those books are out, these books are in. Now we just gotta figure out the best way to put them on there. I don't know if they're all gonna go on there. I'm thinking potentially we could do like one in the middle and then like two on each side. You, do you get the vision? I get the vision. It's not looking as stunning as I want it to. Okay, so I've done some fine-tuning, I guess, some tweaking, and I think this is what we're going to go with, these these four books, um, and, oh, okay, so as much as I do want to put Emma on this shelf, I realized I am going to college very soon, and I definitely want to pack this to take with me and read, so there's no reason to put it on the shelf when I'm just going to be taking it off really soon um, to pack with my stuff. So that is the logic behind that. I hope it makes sense. But this is the shelf. I know this video was really short and kind of random, but also I don't know what to do about this guy. This is a little bear I got when I graduated high school and I put my little tassel on his ear. <laughs> um, I think he's really cute and sweet but I don't know if I should leave him in this cubby or not because like I graduated two months ago. But also, he's really cute. So I think I'm gonna keep him there for now, but I wanna find something more aesthetically pleasing to go in that little nook eventually. I also don't have a name for this guy and I'm not a big like stuffed animal name person, but I guess I kinda am, not really. 
If you have name suggestions for him, drop it in the comments. But that's the video, that's the new setup that will be behind me in a couple of more videos before I head off to college and then who knows what the background will be, quite honestly. I mean, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have suggestions of other ways I can arrange these, please let me know. This was just really fun and simple to make, but let me know how you like to display some of your favorite books or if you just like to have all of them, you know, lined up on a bookshelf if that's your favorite way. Definitely, I definitely value that, clearly. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye!